more work done on the ROR signal tracer board. Good Sunday evening to you YouTube. It is 8.30 now and uh, I'm in here in the shop playing around. I just uh, wanted to get something done today. I I uh, didn't want to be a bum all day. Uh, haven't actually been a bum all day, but, you know, I I have been not, not doing a lot of stuff. I did watch a lot of videos, though. And I made a video. You guys know that. And I appreciate all the uh, uh, words of wisdom, words of uh, comfort, and, uh, you know, whatever that you guys have, uh, you know, let me know in the comments on stuff like that. And I appreciate that. And uh, I'm sure, you know, it will get better as we go. But, uh, you know, it's for a rough few uh, um, times on getting getting things set and, you know, how that works. But, anywho, that's that. Um, this is the uh, uh, ROR. I got it right this time. <laughs> ROR signal tracer. Now, this time I've been working on this. Uh, actually, this one here. If you guys can see that. This pin, it goes all the way down to pin 2 of the uh, 741 chip. And it also stops off here for VR2, um, which is the um, uh, pot that uh, controls the gain on this chip. Um, so that's what that does. And here it is right here. I, I put it in like this. It goes down here to this and around into the pin 2. So, you know, you can see that's uh, it's pretty, it's in there good. And I've got my spot here on the, uh, and I can't remember, oh, there it is right there. Right, that goes around this, uh, where uh, the VR will connect, and uh, that'll be there. So, that's in. Uh, really, the only thing left to do on this board now is to put in the wires um, for the uh, connect external connections and wire up this, uh, <laughs> this uh, volume pot. Um, this is uh, pretty much the same one as, as looked like everybody else is using because Bob sent me a picture of his and I seen Don's and everybody's using this exact same one looks like um, so anyway at least I got the right one I know that <laughs> uh, now there was some confusion on my part and I'm sure uh, Don he's the original designer probably didn't have any confusion when he did it but it did cause me a little bit of confusion and I'm going to flash up a couple of pictures here. Uh, first one is from Don's video, and it shows this uh, uh, pot here and the wiring on it. And I think you're going to see the... Uh, oops. Everything's magnetized now. I don't know why. but uh, I think you're going to see the uh, capacitor C9 across these two terminals. And these two terminals are the only ones going to be used for the gain. There's not this one's not. In other words, it's rheostat. It's not going to be used at all on the. Uh, and I think this is actually the high side uh, of the uh, pot because he has this one front one wired, which is the volume control for the uh, 386, as the high side here, the the wiper, and the low side here. And you'll notice in the video uh, that he's using. Well, maybe I might have that backwards. But anyway, he's using a white wire and a yellow wire. I think he had the white wire on this one and the yellow wire on this one and the red one here. The red one on the wiper for both of these is a red wire. But here's the confusing part to me. He had this one wired as a white wire here. And, you know, if if it's the same, you know, uh, control and everything like that, it should be the same as this one. And to have a yellow wire here and a white wire here was confusing to me. I was telling Bob that it's just my OCD is kicking up, but still, <laughs> I understand how it's routed. But you know, when you look at the circuit and and see how the wires go, I would you know normally because he's using a white wire here, and I would normally think it would go there. But you know, being as he's got the capacitors across here, you know, I understand it's it's here, and it's probably the same way. I understand how he's done it, and and I you know I'm I'm good with it. I just, I wanted to let you know it did confuse me. I'm easily confused, though, so it's not a big deal. Um, so that's that. Um, again, Bob Bob wired his up just like Don's, and that's what I will do also. Uh, I do have the capacitor go there, and uh, I will, I, I'd like to have some wire 
um, solid wire instead of the stranded that I have to uh, wire that because I think that would, you know, the way they're twisting them together, I think that would work up much better than the stranded wire. Stranded wire won't stay twisted uh, like solid wire will. So I'll have to work on that and see if I can find some pieces of wire to, to use for that. And uh, if not, it's not a big deal. I can use stranded wire and, you know, I can put some twist ties around it to hold it together or something. But uh, not a big deal. So that's That's got to be done. And the switch has got to be uh, redone, redone. If I use that white case, I'll have to uh, just use the same leads that's on there because I think I, I left them on the switch and just disconnected them from the uh, board itself. And then again, I may not even have disconnected it. I don't even remember to tell you, tell you the truth. Uh, watched uh, Bob's video today. Uh, good video, Bob. Bob. <laughs> um, I'm going to send him... Uh, this box with the speaker inside, and it's also got the uh, um, microphone and the screws for the box. He's going to get that, and I have the uh, ten or the uh, fourteen pin uh, version of the uh, LM three uh, eighties coming in. They should be here Tuesday, um, according to tracking. They are in this country, and uh, their expected delivery is Tuesday. So. Uh, like I said, I'm going to send him like three of those, and so he'll have some of those to test out because these are Chinese uh, 380s, and, you know, we all know from uh, buying Chinese-made uh, copies or whatever you want to call them uh, that sometimes they're not like the originals. And uh, speaking of that, the, um, the version of the MPF 102s, I think is what they were. I'm, I'm, I'm going from memory on this. Uh, and my memory's not great, but I think that was the number of the uh, chip he's substituting for the J310 on the PTR. I asked him about the uh, availability of those in quantity, and he said he can get 50 of them pretty easy. So um, we we may uh, we may try from a reputable reputable dealer. So we may try, and and if they work out according to Bob's uh, test tomorrow. Uh, we may go ahead and go with that instead. Now the 310 works, and we've all seen it work. It does work, and it's not a big deal. It's he Bob, you know, he's kind of a I won't say perfectionist, but he wants the best performance, like I do, from this uh, signal tracer. And uh, if that's what we can get, you know, well, we'd like to get that and use that instead. Um, as he, he he did mention that this was the original of that design that he found on the internet and. So, you know, he just uh, figured it would be the best of the uh, lot to go with that. And uh, so, anywho, that's that. Now, I think uh, a lot of these, um, he said that was a direct replacement for the J310 was the direct replacement for that MPF, MPF, MPS, whatever it was. Uh, now, my, now my memory is failing me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, he said that was a direct replacement. But we all know the direct replacement. It's just something that is um, voltage-wise able to replace the uh, device in question. Now, it's supposed to have similar gain and operational characteristics, but they don't always do that. So uh, I think in this case, that's probably the, the deal because of the gain. It's a little bit higher on the one he just tested. So uh, I think that's the case. And uh, so anywho, that's what... Uh, that's what we're looking at on that. Uh, also, um, to understand uh, that uh, Bob, and I don't know if he, I, he didn't mention this. He may not even want it out there, but I'm going to say it. He did send off and get uh, some sample boards made of the uh, PTR, the 14-pin version of that. It cost him, I think, all the uh, ungodly sum of $2 to get these boards. I think you get 5 for that price, I think is what he said. But uh, he did send those in, and, and we're going to get that uh, to play around with a little bit. The printed printed circuit boards uh, from JCP, JCLP, PCB, whatever it is. Uh, but he did try that to, to see, and uh, those will be coming in. I don't know how long that takes, but uh, I know they advertise 24-hour turnaround. I'm sure that's on their end. Uh, you know, then you have to ship it back and forth, so, you know, things like that. So... Anywho, that's that. Um, so once those come in, I think we can we can play around with that a little further. Now these are the boards 
uh, I believe the boards that he sent in to have redone or to uh, get is the same size as these. Uh, the, these perp boards here. So uh, we haven't tried any mineraliz miner mineralization, mineralization. Well, you guys know smaller, <laughs> smaller boards uh, uh, yet to see what kind of uh, deal we can work out there as far as making the components a little closer and things like that. So of course, now this is the ROR board here I'm playing with, but uh, just wanted to show you the size. And uh, I think that's about it. So now this is going to be continued tomorrow. Um, I'm going to take another look at this and see about adding some wires and maybe try to add the uh, volume control wired in and uh, see if we can get this together enough to where we can test it. And I'd like to see how, how well it performs and things like that. Now, given, given the fact that we're using uh, no shielding, no nothing, no box, no nothing, uh, I'm sure there are going to be some hum, and that's to be expected. So we're not going to pay a lot of attention to that. We, we all know that if we use shielded leads or twisted leads like uh, they have used in their designs, I think we'll be all right. So that's where we're at on that, and uh, that's where we're going. So that's it for me this evening. Um, I'm still, still kind of uh, reeling from yesterday. I, I'm... Uh, Oh, I did want to test this also. Let me do that real quick, and I'll bring you right back. All right, what you can see is here's the, I have the uh, click leads from the uh, fluke meter over there. Uh, right now it is on, and if I flip it, that is off. So when I turn it on, it's like that, and you can see the uh, the the uh, LED is up off of the uh, thing in the on position so that's uh, one of the tests I wanted to make I'd like to have I may use a battery and see um, so I'm supposed to be able to uh, put 9 volts across this or 12 volts across the uh, sw switch or actually have this be uh, 9 or 12 volts and this would be my circuit and I'm not going to hook this one up because I'm not really switching anything but once I do that I should get be able to ground this and get the light to light up I think is how it should work so we're going to give that a shot and I'll bring you right back and we'll see how that works all right I have the um, the uh, clip lead on the brass looking terminal which is the one that doesn't switch so I'm assuming that is the LED and what I'm got is the uh, battery hooked up to the uh, negative on that and the positive voltage is going to the other clip lead which is a green one here and I, why well, I should be able to touch one of these and get the uh, light to light up now that was the one I thought would light it up but neither one are lighting it up so not really sure maybe it does need 12 volts I don't think that it should. I think one of these should. Maybe it's because it'd be switched on. Maybe let's try that. There we go. Now, there you go. Now you're getting it. So basically, what you got here is uh, this is the when it's turned on. Let me turn, put that on there. It goes on and turn it off. It goes off. So that does work. Of course, my battery lead, my clip lead came off the battery, but other than that, it's working. There you go. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that a lot. And at least we know how it's wired now, so that is all right. So I wonder, yeah, I can I can do it on either one, just as long as there's power to it, and it doesn't matter which way that goes. So, yeah, that's what I thought. So... All right, well, that's, that's one of the other tests I want to make. Now, again, I probably will come back again tomorrow, and maybe we'll get a test in of the uh, ROR signal tracer board that I've just built and uh, see how well it performs out in the open, as it were. And uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned for that, and we'll be back tomorrow sometime. All right, afternoon, YouTube. It's 2.24 on a Sunday. 
No, this is Monday. Monday, I'm sorry, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to everybody. Um, what I've got going here um, is the uh, wiring of the uh, volume control, whatever you want to call that. Um, I have the uh, gain control uh, completely wired. And, uh, or not completely, I'm sorry. Yeah, the gain is. The, uh, that's just one part of this uh, dual pot here. So, that's what it looks like so far. Now, I've got this marked. I had to go back and I, I got so confused by that uh, the yellow wire and stuff. And I, I just, I went back and did a whole other uh, thing of this. And I did it because my printer only prints black and white. So, I just spelled it out. <laughs> I have G1, G2, um, and then on the back side, V1, V2, and V3, and it's laid out like this, you know. So, the G2 is the black one here, if you, if you can see the little black, I put a little black mark on that. Uh, and if you look at the other part here, it, it goes here, up uh, where a VR, the low signal is supposed to be applied and the G1 goes here. So I have those pretty well uh, knowing where they're going. Uh, I have to still have to do the uh, volume pot for the 386, which is the second part of this. And I'll just do the same thing. Instead of, uh, I'll put a black mark on V3 uh, and probably put um, a uh, Two dots or something like that on V1 or V2. It just, you know, maybe two on V2. That would distinguish it. And that just leaves the other one, so I'll know what it is. But uh, I'll, I'll figure it out as I go along here. So, <laughs> anywho, uh, that's not too bad. Um, and I do have them twisted, as you can see. Uh, I found some wire that uh, was close to what uh, Don used, I believe. This might be a little bit lighter than 28. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it, it works because it's solid wire and it's easy to twist and, you know, like that. So, all right, that's uh, where I'm at right now. Now, this is getting probably kind of long. I don't know. I may go ahead and uh, knock this off and come back later on with a test because uh, I don't know that I'm going to get done with this today, to tell you the truth, because this is taking a lot longer to wire up and, and uh, than I had originally thought it would. So, um, like I said, if I get, whoop, there goes one of my wires. <laughs> anyway, if I get, uh, you know, if I get it done uh, to where it's uh, usable or whatever, I'll bring you back and show you. So, if not, uh, we'll see you later. All right, now it's 2.40. I'm back once more. I did get the, uh, other wire on. I guess it went a little bit better because I did the first one. I figured out how to do it, I guess. Uh, as I said, uh, there is a, a solid wire here, solid black wire here. It's hard to see, but it is solid black. And then there's two dots, two lines on this one. That's the wiper, that's the low side, and that is the high side. So that's pretty easy to see, or it is to me anyway. Uh, you can see there's your low there's your two dots on the middle one and nothing on the uh, upper side so that is going to do that now that the only thing i have to do left to do that is uh solder it into the board now that uh i'm not really sure how i want to proceed uh but you know i have them all laid out ready to go so we'll just have to uh just have to figure it out I guess but I am going to end this here because I don't want to make a real real long video again um, so I'm going to do that now I may work on this more later but I think I'm going to take a break for now that's kind of nerve wracking to get all those wires in like that and they're not uh, at their final position uh, there's a good, good bit more on this end than there's on this one but uh, they're close enough to get it to where I can do what I need to do with it and uh, so that's that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to uh, stop here and uh, take a break. And I've been at this uh, for a while. And this is pretty much it uh, as far as uh, 
done uh, the board is and it, that way uh, so then when I wire this in uh, the only thing left to do will be to put the switch in and that is not really that difficult uh, it may look difficult but it's not uh, you got two two switch or two wires go here and there will be a bridge on the switch to bridge the power from one side to the other so either way that you switch it up or down is going to be power just the middle position will be off so and then the other switch is uh, for the uh, gain over here those two spots right there and there's just two of those used it's just uh, the upper when it's switched up it'll be in high and then when it's switched down low it'll be in low and that's pretty easy to remember I think so <laughs> anywho like I say that's it for now you guys have a great day uh, uh, like I said have a a nice Memorial Day holiday, and uh, we will talk at you all later. Thanks for watching. See ya.